we're here in Village Bay in Herta in St Kilda at the moment and we're here as part of the Scottish 10 project which is to digitally document the five World Heritage Sites in Scotland and five international sites. So this is one that we've all been very excited about coming to. It's a fantastic World Heritage Site and not one that many people get the opportunity to visit. So we're very fortunate to be here. Our journey out to St Kilda was by boat this time and the, the crossing was fairly horrendous. Uh, it was quite a rough crossing, uh, took us about three hours. Ah, St Kilda is just the most amazing sight. Uh, coming in by boat or, or coming in by helicopter, it's just an incredible sight to come into the bay and to see the street and to see the cleats the, the hundreds of cleats around about, it's, it's just an incredible sight of this, this green land in the middle of, of the Atlantic, so spectacular and so, so special. Uh, we're here at St Kilda to thoroughly document, uh, three-dimensionally document, the settlement areas on St Kilda. So we're here with a combined team from Historic Scotland and the Glasgow School of Art to go from basically one settlement area to another, scanning the roadways, the cleats, uh, the fence lines, and, uh, and the individual houses. Uh, St Kilda's now important internationally. It's one of only 27 sites in the world that are inscribed as a World Heritage Site for both its natural and cultural designation of heritage. Um, for the, the cultural heritage, the remains behind me, that you can see are the remains of the 19th century landscape, so the, the cottages, the fields. The, the cleats are the turf roof buildings behind me and uh, they're particularly inscribed, they're unique to this archipelago. They were used as storehouses uh, to store all sorts of things, store peat, seabirds, uh, agricultural uh, produce and, and agricultural tools. And you know, in the village they're in effect sheds, but further out they're, they're, they're storehouses. Uh, for its natural heritage, uh, it's one of the most important seabird colonies in the North East Atlantic. We've got the largest colony of northern gannets in the world, so hugely significant for seabirds and it's that, that link that I think makes it Kilda really special. But the people that lived here uh, were very much dependent on the seabird colonies and I don't really think you can separate the natural and cultural heritage here. A recording of, of the site is essential. We, we will produce uh, possibly the most accurate survey of the site that's, that's ever been produced. One of the ideas behind our projects is to encourage uh, virtual tourism uh, by being able to use the 3D technologies, by being able to uh, photorealistically model up these areas using the scanning equipment and other technologies, enabling people to virtually visit St Kilda. I mean, this is an incredibly remote island. It took us uh, almost a day to get here. Uh, you know, it's a tough trip. It's a real privilege to be here, frankly, uh, to be able to capture the site. So the idea is that with the content that we have now, we can then put it onto the internet, we can uh, create special presentations uh, to show people what it's really like to be here.